What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows these are all things you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. We all belong outside. We're drawn to nature. Whether it's the recorded sounds of the ocean we doze off to, or the succulents that adorn our homes, nature makes all of our lives, well, better. Despite all this, we often go about our busy lives removed from it. But the outdoors is closer than we realize. With All Trails, you can discover trails nearby and explore confidently. With offline maps and on trail navigation, download the free app today and make the most of your summer with All Trails. From the mind of a two foot tall talking spokes puppet comes this year's biggest challenge. It's time for Bob's Dare to Compare, the hottest game show on TV that asks what happens when you compare Bob's to the competition. You get style, you get quality, you get beeps and boops and dings and whomps. And thousands of dollars in savings. Everyone's a winner when you dare to compare with Bob's Discount Furniture. Shop in store or at mybobs.com to play now. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows these are all things you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. We all belong outside. We're drawn to nature. Whether it's the recorded sounds of the ocean we doze off to, or the succulents that adorn our homes, nature makes all of our lives, well, better. Despite all this, we often go about our busy lives removed from it. But the outdoors is closer than we realize. With All Trails, you can discover trails nearby and explore confidently. With offline maps and on trail navigation, download the free app today and make the most of your summer with All Trails. From the mind of a two foot tall talking spokes puppet comes this year's biggest challenge. It's time for Bob's Dare to Compare, the hottest game show on TV that asks what happens when you compare Bob's to the competition. You get style, you get quality, you get beeps and boops and dings and whomps, and thousands of dollars in savings. Everyone's a winner when you dare to compare with Bob's Discount Furniture. Shop in store or at mybobs.com to play now. Here's uh, Jalen Thompson from the Kansas City Star, their beat writer for the Kansas City Royals. Again, game two of that series against Cleveland tonight at the K. It'll be heard right here on KFH. Jalen, welcome. Hey, how you guys doing? You said 1969. That's when the Royals first started playing. Pretty crazy. There you go. That's a, that is a long time ago. Uh, what's not a long time ago was last Wednesday when the Royals uh, were going for a sweep, game two of a doubleheader, had a 5-2 lead against Cleveland. That was the fourth game of the uh, series. It looked like Cleveland was down and out. They came back and won that game. They've been playing much better since, and the Royals, the bottom has kind of fallen out. What's happened here? Well, a lot of things have happened. You know, you see Vinny Pasquatino go down with an injury, um, right thumb injury. He says that he wants to come back, but it looks like his regular season is going to be over unless the Royals make the playoffs. The Royals also ran into a lot of strong pitching. I mean, you look at what the Guardians had in that series and then carrying over to what the Astros did those four games. It's, it's just a rough patch right now. The Royals are trying to figure it out. They Everyone is staying upbeat and positive. They believe that just focus on today, like their mindset has been all year, and things will turn around. But as you've seen, going on and getting veteran guys like Tommy Pham and Yuli Gurriel and Robbie Grossman, trying to fix whatever you kind of lost with any going down and also trying to stay afloat. That's kind of what it feels like right now. And 
you know, all was not lost. The Rose is still leading in the uh, wild card uh, spot over the Boston Red Sox. But if they won the, the division, and, you know, that's kind of slipping right now. Do you see any – I don't know if failure might be a strong word, but do you see anything lacking in the Royals player development? Obviously, Bobby Witt, Salvador Perez. There have been several guys that have panned out that have gone through their system. But when they need to go to guys like – Tommy Pham, the, the guys you mentioned, Robbie Grossman, Yuli Gurriel, Paul DeYoung, down the stretch. Does that say something about how the Royals are developing position players that they can't you know, promote within? I don't think so. I think it's just those guys have had playoff experience. And you know, when you're in a playoff race for really the first time with the young core, you don't really know what it takes to really get there because you've never done it before. And as much as you can rely on a Will Smith, uh, Chris Stratton, you know, the guys they brought in, Michael Walker, Seth Lugo, Adam Fraser, and the like, you still need more. The team is so young. They're still just trying to do this thing. And, you know, a lot of those guys, like I mentioned, those are like pitchers outside of, you know, Fraser and whatnot. You got to have veterans on the position side as well that can help you get there. And I think it's nothing against what they've done. They got a lot of good young players in the system. Um, you know, you mentioned you've seen what Drew Waters can do up here, but he just hasn't panned out when you need him over the long call. Same with Nick Prado. So those kind of guys, you know, they still need time to develop at the major league level, and time is not what the Royals have right now. So you go get guys that have done it before, are doing it before, and you see what you can do. Well, in in your opinion, what is going to be either the Royals' downfall for the rest of this season or what is going to spring them into the playoffs? Is it going to be offense, defense, pitching? Where are you at with that? I think it's going to be offense. They have to score runs. You can't rely just on Bobby Wood Jr. and Salvador Perez. And you were relying on Vinny Pasotino, but he's not there right now. He's injured, like you said. So it's got to be the offense. It's got to be someone other than those two guys in the, at the top of the order. you got to have production throughout the whole lineup. Maybe that is a Paul D. Young that has shown he is very valuable when he plays consistently. Maybe, maybe it is Freddie Fermin getting more opportunities. Maybe one of Tommy Pham, Robbie Grossman, or Yuli Gurriel Sparks. But it's got to be someone else. You can't go into this playoff run with two guys. You got to have five or six. That's how the good teams get it done. And the Royals just don't have that right now. I think the starting pitching will be fine. You, as you've seen, you see some good starts out of Steph Lugo. You see some good starts out of. Michael Walker, they'll get Michael Lorenzen back. You've seen Cole Reagans and Brady Singer continue to do well. The bullpen, you got Lucas Ersteg, he'll be there. Can someone else step up there? But I think offense is the biggest question if the Royals are going to either make it or break it in this playoff run. Talking uh, with Jalen Thompson, he covers the Royals for the Kansas City Star. Uh, so Pasquantino goes out, 97 RBIs taken out of that lineup. Protection for Bobby Witt. How do they protect Bobby Witt? Yesterday they moved Michael Massey to the three-hole. They had Tommy Pham leading off. Uh, what are they going to do, in your opinion, Jalen, to make sure that teams don't just pitch around Bobby Witt and make someone else in that lineup hurt you? Because when you had Witt and Pasquantino, uh, really had to pick your poison. Yeah, I think they're still trying to figure that out um, just at the, at the present moment. You saw, like you said, you had Michael Massey be there. He's a great contact hitter. He's someone that can display some power when he gets a hold of one. But you need more. Maybe you leave Salvi in that three spot. Maybe you leave him there. And you maybe put a Paul DeYoung behind him or MJ Melendez. Um, Tommy Pham is great at the top of the lineup, as we've seen. He had two hits in Houston. And yesterday, the team only had two hits in general. So, I mean, can't recount yesterday's game. But I think you have to just fuel – Bobby Wood Jr. and insulate him with guys that can get on base, guys that can get in scoring position. Maybe you do it from the bottom up. Maybe you put a speedster at the bottom of the lineup and then you have two guys on when Bobby comes up. It's just different ways you have to attack it, but they have to figure it out. What would be your order, presuming that uh, Kansas City plays in a best of three uh, wild card series? What would be your order? And I don't mean to lead you in any particular direction uh, for how the pitching would go, but Michael Waka is the only starter they have who has started a postseason game. Do you think they would take that into account when they're deciding maybe be between him and Singer? You, yeah, yeah. I think if you're looking at a three-game lineup, 
you have to you have to go with who got you there. So I would say you you, you start off with maybe Seth Lugo. You know, he's a veteran. He's been there before. He's been your best pitcher all year. Then maybe you throw in uh, Cole Reagan and or Waka. I think Waka has to be one of those guys you pitch in that three game series because of the experience that he brings. I don't I don't necessarily know the order of where they would want to do it, but I believe one of Lugo. Reagan's and Waka has to be it. And Singer has been great. But remember, that he will also be his first playoff experience. I don't know if they would want to throw him out there in that high stakes that early. But he definitely can do it. And I wouldn't be shocked if he was one of the guys they put up in there. Well, and you know, you talk of a three game, if you're, you're, you're getting three guys there. But if you're in a, a one game playoff, which guy are you going to throw out there? I mean, you got Lugo, you could throw out Reagan's. But do you go go with the guy with the most experience, or do you go with somebody else? If it was me, I would probably go Seth Lugo, only because he has shown that he can be dynamite. He has so many different pitches that he can use to counteract whatever an offense will throw at him. And if you need to win a game, you go with him because you know he's going to give you quality starts. And then from there, it's all hands on deck. Um, maybe you'd see all three of the stars, four of the stars, if there's a one-game scenario where you have to win but I would go Steph Lugo because I, he's just been the most most consistent this year, and you know that he's going to keep you in the game. All right, we're talking uh, with Jalen Thompson. I'll go back to what Jeff asked, and, and I agree with you. It's better to have uh, players who are a little bit uh, experienced with this kind of a push in September. But I think the larger point would be how sustainable is this Royals team? Uh, they've had a lot of things go right. Now, lately, not so much. They've been bitten by the injury bug, but their free agents have worked out. Their trades have worked out. That's certainly not uh, something that happens all the time. So when we get to 2025, how important is it to supplement this lineup with maybe some younger players? How much do you believe this pitching, uh, which has been so good this year, uh, can hold up over the next season or two? Yeah, I think that's a great question, and I, I agree with you. I think looking forward to 2025, everyone's going to get a year older. So you, you're going to, those veterans that you're leaning on now are going to be a year older, and are they still going to be here? Like like you said, you got to have some young guys that step up. I think that the young core of Bobby Witt Jr., Vinny Pasquantino, MJ Melendez, and the like are all going to be where you need them to be. Michael Massey's in that makes Michael Garcia. But they still have to continue to take steps. Like this, no one expected the Royals to be where they are right now outside of the clubhouse. This team has vastly overachieved. I mean, that's just, if we were calling it straight, they've overachieved. They've exceeded expectations. Now it's just, can they take the next step forward in 2025? Because while you, you snuck up on some teams this year, probably, being just how great you are and how competitive that they've been, next year that won't be the case. They know the Royals are coming. They know what the Royals have. Like you said, you have to add in some guys from the minor leagues. Who's going to take that next step? Is it going to be does, does Drew Waters take that next step? Like we mentioned him. Is it someone in the minor league system as a pitcher? Do they come up? Do they can do they view Jack Caglione as the next guy that continues to work well in the minor leagues next year and he comes up in 2026? These are things you got to look at. But um, they're in a good spot, I believe, and I think that it's just all about how can we get better one day at a time, one step at a time, and that's what they believe. So this is kind of a question just out of curiosity because I was at the game yesterday and while I am a Cleveland fan, I was really excited as a baseball fan to get to see Emmanuel Classe against Bobby Witt and then two batters later against Salvador Perez kind of with the game on the line. Have those guys talked about what it's like to face Classe, uh, especially in those type of situations? Yeah, they, they live for those matchups. You know, it's good on good. It's best on best. I think they they relish the opportunity to play some of the best guys in the league. And Class A has just really nasty stuff. I believe he's only given like four runs this year, I believe. I mean, he's really great coming out of the bullpen. And the Royals, they've had success against him in previous years. But this year, he's just been dominant. And I think that when you're in those situations, you only can learn from those situations. Because every time you see him, every time that you see what he brings to the table, you are able to get a better picture of what, you can do to counteract that. So I think uh, for Bobby, for Salvi, and those guys, 
yeah, they might have got beat last night. But if they get in that situation again, as Bobby's shown when he did last year, hit that grand slam against Duran, against the Twins, who also throws 100 miles per hour, he can definitely um, change the tide of the game. All right, Jalen. That question, by the way, was asked by my son, a devout Guardians I, I fan, only that. to get you to sing the praises of Emmanuel Classe. You could have very easily uh, declined to answer, and I would have been in your corner. Not true, Jalen. I was genuinely curious, but thank you <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Jalen, we appreciate your time as always. Thank you, and we'll get with you as the postseason approaches. Perfect. Thank you guys for having me on. I always love chatting with you guys. I really appreciate it. We love, we love it too. Thank you, Jalen. You don't just live in your home. You live in your neighborhood as well. So when you're shopping for a home, you want to know as much about the area around it as possible. Luckily, Homes.com has got you covered. Each listing features a comprehensive neighborhood guide from local experts. Everything you'd ever want to know about a neighborhood, including the number of homes for sale, transportation, local amenities, cultural attractions, unique qualities, and even things like median lot size and a noise score. Homes.com. We've done your homework. From the mind of a two-foot-tall talking spokes puppet comes this year's biggest challenge. It's time for Bob's Dare to Compare, the hottest game show on TV that asks, what happens when you compare Bob's to the competition? You get style. You get quality. You get beeps and boops and dings and whomps. And thousands of dollars in savings. Everyone's a winner when you dare to compare with Bob's Discount Furniture. Shop in store or at mybobs.com to play now. Everybody knows it. Toyota trucks are the stuff of legends. Rugged, durable, everlasting. Toyota makes trucks that just don't quit. And now Toyota is driving that legacy toward the future with two of their most powerful trucks ever, the new Tundra and the all-new Tacoma. In a half-ton Tundra, you can rule the roads. From the comfort of a spacious cabin with connected tech and plenty of hauling power, the Tundra is ready to work hard and play even harder. Or check out the all-new 24 Tacoma, redesigned and electrified to maximize your adventure. With a bevy of available off-road driving and power transfer modes, you will effortlessly crush the conditions. And with the Tacoma's reimagined interior, you'll do it in style. And right now, your local Toyota dealer has more vehicles in stock and is making delivery on new vehicles almost every day. So don't wait. Buy a Tundra or Tacoma today. Visit buyatoyota.com for deals and more. Toyota, let's go places. For the first time, U.S. subscribers can stream MLB Network 24-7, including select out-of-market games. Swing and a drive. It's deep. It's good. Yeah. Stream minor league affiliates. Home run number one. Horse track pick number one. Plus get MLB Big Inning and live audio for all 30 teams. Baseball can't get better than this. Experience the game like never before with MLB Network and AtBat, your all-in-one baseball destination. Only $6.99 per month. Visit MLB.com slash AtBat for details. Blackout and other restrictions apply. MLB trademarks used with permission.